All right. Uh, what we're going to do this time is we're going to work out some collisions with walls in Game Maker. So let's get to it. Uh, first, we're going to start by making our character and we'll give him some basic movement. So let's just get him, uh, we'll make him a nice yellow color and call it S player. And now I'm going to make an object for him and assign that sprite, call the object O player. Let's uh, go to the create event, create the move speed variable, give that value a value of five. Next, go into the step event, we'll get our inputs. So this is gonna be key right, we're just gonna do left and right movement for this demonstration. Um, so this is going to be keyboard check, and we use A and D to move left and right. So right is going to be D, and key left equals keyboard check, board A. Next, we want to figure out which direction we are going based on the inputs. So to do that, I'm going to create a temporary variable. I'm going to call this move, and it's going to be equal to key right minus key left times move speed. So this will mean that if we move to the right, this value is going to be one times five. So your move speed is going to be five, but if this is if you're holding down the left key, it's going to be minus one times five, which is uh, you'll be moving five to the left in that case. Uh, and then next we'll commit to the move, and to do that we'll just change our x position by that move variable. Next um, we we'll go into our room. We we'll just put our player in there. Wrong layer. Okay, now just check to make sure the movement's working. It should be working. Lovely. Okay, let's make these walls. The walls are going to be simple as well. There's going to be a gray square. Call this S wall. And an object as well. O wall and assign the sprite. And we don't do any, we're not actually going to do any coding in the wall itself. Let's place some walls in the room and see what happens whenever we're moving around, see what we need to do. Okay, so we're just moving straight through the walls. So that's obviously not right. We want to bump into the walls. So let's code that into our player object. It's important where we put this, it needs to go in between uh, our calculation of the direction that we're moving in, but before we've actually committed to the move. We're going to check for a collision before we actually move. And if there is going to be a collision, then we're going to cancel the move. So let's slot this in here, collision check. Going to use a function called place meeting if place meeting and then we give an x and y position and put in what object we're looking for so we're looking for the wall and the x position is going to be where we're moving to which is going to be our current x position plus this move variable that we've made up here so x plus move y is just going to be the same level and a wall. And uh, if there is a wall where we're trying to move, let's cancel the move. We're going to make this move variable zero. And that's going to stop us moving out in this little section here. So let's uh, run that and see what happens. Okay, so we're stopping now. 
However, on the left here, there's actually a little gap between the player and the wall because that condition, that condition is being met. And so it's making the move variable zero, which means that we can't actually move any further than that because five pixels are move speed. There is a wall there. So we can fix that. So before we change the move value to zero in this collision check, we're going to check by one pixel if there's a wall there. And if there's not, then we'll move into it. And we'll keep doing that until there is a wall there. So to do that, we're going to check if not place meeting x plus sign move. And this sign is going to tell us whether this move is positive or negative. And if it's positive, then this whole thing is going to be plus one. And if this value is negative, then this whole thing turns into minus one. So this is only going to be plus one or minus one. And if move was zero, then the whole thing is zero. Y is the same again, and we're looking for the wall. So if not place meeting, so if there's not a wall, one pixel in the move direction, then we want to actually move one pixel in the move direction. So X plus equals sign move. Now I have made one mistake here. Um, I've used if here instead of while. We want to keep doing this until this isn't true. So if we change this to while, it's going to keep looping through that until there actually is a wall, one pixel to the right. And then we'll cut out of this, make move zero, and then everything will be great. Let's see that in action. Lovely. Moves nice and smoothly to the uh, side of the wall. Easy peasy.